Well, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short, and today we're going to be doing another CJ the Chance video. Link to the original creator will be down below. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. It, um, it's Frieza from Riches to Rags. That's a great freeze frame. All right, so uh, like go for this one is, can we get at least uh, 300 likes on this video? It's a CJ the Champ video, come on. This is a celebration, bitch. <laughs> support, support, support black creators. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. You know, we could all learn a good lesson from this fight. The first one, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause this man went from looking like Pillsbury Doughboy to looking like he just got on a parole yesterday. So this is the final form of the Lorax. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Mm. One, 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 and cut. Alright y'all, so I think I've come to a conclusion. I think that I've come to the conclusion that this man Frieza might be the most disrespected villain in anime. Like this man has been getting his ass whooped. Hell, he might be the anime villain that's taking the most ass whoopers in history. I don't believe you. <laughs> Show me. Well, besides like what, Team Rocket? Them niggas. I was about to say, who who else has gotten a, who else has gotten a ass beat a lot? I don't even know. If y'all have one, put them down below. I can't even think of one right now. Stay getting blasted off every episode. Shit, I ain't gonna cap. I'm surprised one of them ain't even dead yet. Like, I'm sorry, but if your ass gets sent flying that far, nigga, you should be dead. Bones cracked, torn ACL and everything, bruh. Nurse Joy shouldn't even be able to fix that shit. <clears throat> but anyways, back to Frieza. Man, I remember when this man used to be the most feared man in Dragon Ball. I remember when I was watching this shit on Toonami as a yep. kid. When I saw Frieza, I was like, oh, shit. It's Frieza. Everybody get the stepping. I was legitimately scared of this nigga. Well, I'm not gonna cap though. When they first showed him in his first form, I thought that he was a girl. Hey, hey. Uh, the return of the Y boner with a vengeance. Hey, hey. I I didn't think he was a girl, but I I really I really this is where like the short person complex comes from a lot of the time because. I was like, wow, he's really little. And I had my um uh, my cousin. My cousin was talking to me. They're like, oh no, they just gonna whoop his ass and everything else. And he just started whooping everybody's ass. And I was just like, uh-huh. Don't doubt us short people, my nigga. Hear me out. The voice and everything fooled my ass. You know what? You know what the motherfucker looked like? That 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 one bitch from Power Rangers. Hold up, back it up. Nigga, did you miss? quad day or you need to sh change your shoes i have never noticed this why oh sorry i moved myself i did not mean to do that why is his fucking quad so fucking small quads your hamstrings bro who fitted you with this this just make you look like a bony ass bitch and you got these fucking um Spice Girl shoes on and shit. You need to get some shit that fit. If you just get this motherfucker tailored in a little bit, just get that get that little bit tailored in. And then um don't wear cooler shoes and wear your own. I think this outfit would be good and it won't make you look as small as you are right now. Everything fooled my ass. You know what? You know what the motherfucker looked like? That 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 one bitch from Power Rangers, Rita Repulsa. Yes, bro. Look at their heads. They look the damn same. Shit, my ten-year-old ass back then was probably like, "Oh my god, mom, that's that bitch from Power Rangers <laughs> with them ugly ass horns." Shit, I still don't know till this day if that's a hat or that's her actual head. But anyways, y'all remember when this man turned into a second form and he impaled Krillin and started bouncing him up and down on his horn? Not gonna cap. The first time I watched this, I was hella uncomfortable. I was like, "Yo, this nigga Frieza is into some." Freaky ass shit. Is this how you get turned on? Come on, come on. I like it, like it. Yes. Oh, that freeze frame is not good. Bro. Then y'all remember his third form with that long ass head? The yeah. nigga looked like a xenomorph. I am pretty sure Toriyama got inspiration from that. Game. And then he turned into his final form, and I'm like, yo, who is this puny ass nigga? The fuck is he gonna do, man? Okay, okay. And then he turned into his final form, and I'm like, yo. Okay, like, 
when I first saw his like revisiting Dragon Ball Z as an as an adult, when I saw his final form, I honestly he looks like a he looks like a dildo. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I'm being dead ass serious. Like, no, no offense, dog. Like, he looks like one, okay? He, I, I, I'm being dead ass serious. Now, do I think the fit is hard? Pause. Yes, but he, he does. It, I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, who is this puny ass nigga? The fuck is he gonna do, man? Then he just starts running everybody's shit! Well, until Goku showed up and whooped that ass. Like Bullshit, he ran Go- He ran Kakarot shit, too. I can't stand it when people act like he didn't fuck up Kakarot, too. He did. Kakarot got his ass beat, too. Petty. I'm petty. I'm petty. Sorry. I am telling y'all, when this man turned into a Super Saiyan, he emotionally scarred Frieza, bro. Like, he beat the brakes off this nigga. He beat his ass so bad, he probably gave him brain damage. CTE, nigga. That's why his dumbass probably can't even tell time. Five minutes, my ass, nigga. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> Three hours later. I'm gonna okay 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 i know they're moving at the speed of light shit i'll let him off the hook on this one shit i'll just say it was like seven minutes bullshit bullshit don't bullshit a bullshit this episode alone this episode alone, I remember watching this on Toonami. This episode alone, I believe it was like, a, it wasn't even, th I think this episode was like five episodes because of the fact that the matter is like, we, we kept getting, a, um, we kept getting some inter monologue and then fucking Toonami fucking every goddamn commercial fucking break and shit like that. Maybe it was three episodes, but I, f I solely remember it was like five or something. Like they wouldn't hurry this shit the fuck up. Like, like. And just to be honest and serious, after after he went Super Saiyan and they were fighting back and forth, you really couldn't tell the difference because everything was on fucking fire. So, yeah. Hey, but you know this man Freezer probably felt like a dumbass when he cut himself in half with his own fucking disc. Then this man decided to be petty as hell when Goku gave him energy and tried to kill him. But then Goku sent his ass to the Shadow Room and basically made him turn into this ugly ass cyborg. Like, I am sorry, but Mecha Freezer is one of the ugliest ass niggas in anime. Look I think it was, I don't think it was Freezer's fault. This nigga was clearly lying. Okay. Here at Shade Too Sweet Incorporate, we defend all villains, especially the villains that we think are hot. I do not think Freezer's hot, but I do think Freezer does need some rep representation when it comes to this. Who the fuck wouldn't think that's a setup? You give me some energy, okay? You turn your back. He blasts them. I don't, that was not Frieza's fault that that happened. Because, like, Frieza was clearly bitch slapped 18 times in the face. He couldn't think straight. He was cut in half. He was losing a lot of blood. He was scared. So, when somebody is scared, they fight back. And who, who could, like, like, Kakarot is more of more of a person than Frieza could ever be so he was already it was already a height advantage for Kakarot and everything else and that's why Frieza did what he did holy shit it actually worked hmm. like what the f with his head shit looks like a oversized band-aid and then got King Cole sorry ass right here like I ain't gonna lie bro this man King Cole was just straight up wasted potential when I first saw this big ass nigga I was like oh shit Frieza got a dad he gotta be strong as hell. Shit, they get to Earth. This nigga trunks, bruh. He chops Frieza's ass up into some goddamn chop steak, then cooks the nigga well done. Big damn! And King Cole's sorry ass just got body. This man really turned into this ugly ass cyborg for nothing. Mm, mm, mm. So then this man was stuck in hell in this nasty ass cocoon for I don't know how long. 
Like, bro, you know this nigga got a stank. Like, this man has been trapped in this nasty-ass, musty-ass cocoon for shit. I don't know how long. Nigga can't take a shower, take a bath, can't even use goddamn deodorant, can't even brush his teeth. And he's surrounded by all these nasty-ass toy animals. Hey, but the nigga gets pushed back. He trains a bit, gets his nice-ass going for him, but then he gets his ass whooped again. Hey, but I'm gonna be real with y'all, though. We all know damn well Vegeta should have got this final kill. Like, bro, that, that is a known fact. This man tormented this man for years and blew up his planet. But, 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 we gotta remember, y'all. This is the fucking Goku show. Oh, God damn it. Get out of the way, Vegeta! And this is one of the other reasons why I fucking hate Kakarot. I hate you. Swear to God, my man can't get shit. He can't get fucking shit without this fucking Kakarot being in the goddamn way. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I used to call Dragon Ball GT Dragon Ball Goku time. <laughs> but anyways, the man gets sent back to hell and he gets stuck in that musty-ass cocoon again. Well, uh, until Goku shows up and decides to invite his ass to the tournament of power because Boo's ass fell asleep. Hey, yo, how the fuck did this man fall asleep before the tournament, man? Like, dog, no, man, I was, I was low-key looking forward to that. But good God almighty, this man Frieza probably took one of the most brutal beatdowns in anime history. This man Toko ran his shit. You know, we could all learn a good lesson from this fight. The first one, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause this man went from looking like Pillsbury Doughboy to looking like he just got on a parole Yes. Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. He sure wasn't in Dragon Ball Z. Is this this must be super or GT because I don't remember a nigga with a mustache like like that. Where did he come from? Today, so this is the final form of the Lorax. Remember, y'all, you fuck with the forest, you fuck with this nigga. I ain't trying to have no problems with this motherfucker. Also, this fight taught us another lesson as well. Don't talk shit to a person that you don't know. Like, for this man was talking all this hot shit. Then he got his shit ran. This man flicked the smallest Hakai and destroyed his supernova just like that. Oh, god damn it. And yo, look at this shit. He punched him so hard, he literally indented his fist into to his stomach dude literally just blew his back out i am sorry but if you get hit like this phrasing <laughs> grow the fuck up shay <laughs> um come on even the greats mess up from time to time conor mcgregor you talked a whole lot of shit too khabib shut him the fuck up um Maybe, maybe my client was inspired by Conor McGregor, okay? Maybe he was inspired by Conor McGregor, and this nigga who liked the force was inspired by Khabib, okay? My, my client was just talking just to promote the fight. That's it. He wasn't really talking to actually do anything. And by, by the look on my client's face, you can tell that I'm telling the truth. This nigga was clearly lying. You're probably never gonna eat anything else in your life. Like, your intestines are gone, G. Yo, look at this shit. Oh my God. That nigga woke up. Look how he just picked his little measly ass up with his hand, bruh. And just crushed this nigga's head like a raisin. Oh my my cranial structure has received serious damage. Oh my god, yo, his brain gotta be crushing right now, bro. This is just adding to his CTE. I'm about to point. say he be, I'm about to say he got so much damn brain damage right now, it's not even funny. Then he just kicked his ass to the side like he ain't shit, bro. Oh my god. I hope we all learned these two valuable lessons that we learned from this ass woman. Number one, don't judge a book by its cover. And number two, don't talk shit to somebody that you don't even know, bruh. Cause you don't know what the fuck they gonna do to your ass, dog. But dear God, the worst was yet to come Who for this man. This man Broly whooped oh, his ass for an hour straight. Imagine getting your ass kicked by this big ass motherfucker for 60 minutes straight, my guy. Fight back, nigga! Fight back, nigga! Fight back! Fight back! Dude 
dude was stomping his ass out. Hey, yo, go come Vegeta. Why, why, why was he beating his ass like that? I have so many questions! I mean, hold up. I mean, like, the planet of Vegeta kicked him off originally. So, I, I mean, like, and they were going to kill him. So, he don't really have, I don't think he would have beef with Frieza. Would he have beef with Frieza? Because, like, Unless if he's a part of the tournament, because originally, originally, Planet Frieza kicked them off. So, it's not like he cares about Planet Vegeta. What the fuck did he do? It's... Hold up. I think some, I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That new lore shit, I think it said that he did something to his dad or something i fucking forgot i don't i don't really remember it but i just remember the old the old stuff was he killed his own dad but i think in a new lore it has him killing his dad maybe maybe that's what happened Hello, you smart <laughs> nigga said have fun Frieza. <laughs> oh my god Oh my they god! Really left this man to get his ass whooped for an hour, bro. Hold up. Yo, Goku and Vegeta low key dirty with the Frieza. Nigga said, "Have fun, Frieza." <laughs> oh my god! They really left this man to get his ass. Have fun, Frieza. <laughs> oh my god! They really left this man to get his ass whooped for an hour, bro. Hold up. So Goku and and Vegeta. So sorry, <clears throat> my bad. So Kakarot and Vegeta left him to get his ass beat. Well, I, I guess you shouldn't have been talking. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Hey, but yeah, he kind of deserved it, though. I mean, he did kill his fucking dad. Bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, niggas be wildin'. Hey, yo, I love how Weiss was basically watching this the whole time, though. He was like, Psh, not my problem. But yeah, man, you know, this man basically watching this the whole time, though. Man was like, Psh, not my problem. I know that's a boy. I know it's a boy. I know it's a boy. But you can't tell me that don't look like no damn girl. I, Cause I was about to say, oh, this bitch look cute. I know that's a boy. I know it's a boy. But look at them eyelashes. Look at that arch eyebrow. Look at them lips. That looks like a girl to me. Ah, the return of the Y boner with a vengeance. But yeah, man, you know, this man Frieza been going through it lately. I mean, he does deserve all this shit, though. Hey, but look at the bright side, though. Watching Frieza get his ass whooped is very entertaining. I don't know why, when I was watching the Broly movie, watching Frieza get his ass whooped was like a spectacle. I was like, damn, that shit was funny as fuck. But anyways, y'all, uh, let's pray for Frieza. Uh, let's press F to pay respects. I mean, if you want to, though, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head out. <laughs> I, what do I think? Uh, I think Frieza, I think Frieza probably did deserve some of those ass whoopings and everything else. But, uh, but like I always say, I defend, I'll defend my client until, until hell freezes over. Um, okay, I don't really, don't judge a book by its cover. So, 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 as you can clearly tell, my, uh, my client has severe brain damage, so he, his judgment is is fucked up um and 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 he was trying to promote a fight shut up shut up don't no no wait a minute wait a second before you say something he was trying to promote a fight that's why he was talking shit and he was set up for the okie doke even though he unalived somebody's parent but what did the parent do get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit like these are questions that we need to ask Okay, that's all I got for this one. I, 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 because I, I, I haven't seen the Broly movie, so I don't know why Frieza decided to kill his parent or something like that. But you know what? I bet Frieza had a good explanation. So I mean, I got him off at least two charges. I mean, I mean, I mean, this, this, this assault that he's enduring. 
I mean, CT, CTE, that, I mean, people get off with that one all the time. Brain damage, only thing we gotta do, like, look at Frieza. He looked like he got brain damage. The, I mean, he look, he think he a transformer. Come on, dog, like, come on. Come on, give me something on this one. Anyway, but again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You could call me Shay for short. And remember, here at Shay Too Sweet, we defend all villains, especially the villains that we think are hot. So uh, don't don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Join my channel, please, please, please. Join my channel and um, uh, and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. I try to get through all of my comments. I normally respond to at least at least. 500 comments a week so I, I try to do all that but again my name is Shay Too Sweet you can call me Shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long end a press conference Got a kingdom and you never had a place in it. No, man, rain with the rage of this. Fucking training, all cause I'm a saiyan prince. Goddamn, 